Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 28th to the 4th of October 2020. We have gone into Libra season and if you would like to know the energy on Libra then have a look at the video that I've made on Libra. Also we've gone into autumn, we've gone into the fall equinox, that's the uh, autumn in the uh, Wiccan pagan uh, calendar and also it is the festival is called the Harvest Festival and that is Mabon. Okay, so that is three things and we will have full moons in October too one on the 1st and one on the 31st so the energies are quite gentle and emo can be emotional or very spiritual especially on Halloween when the spiritual is um, the veil between the spiritual and the spirit world is lifted and is very thin our ancestors and our emotions and psychic abilities are m highly sensitive. Okay, um, also um, there is a blue moon because when you have two moons in a month then one of the moons is a blue moon. Remember the saying, once in a blue moon. So something might be happening unexpectedly. Okay, so that is on the 31st. We start off with, well, I'm using the Pagan Way and the Everyday Witch, in, because I'm working in the theme of Halloween, Answer of the Angel Feather, and the Answer of the Angel and the Queen of the Moon Oracle Deck. You start off with the King of Pentacles. You might be meeting a King of the Pentacles, uh, whether you're a man or a woman. This could be a partnership uh, in business if you're a man um, or a woman. Okay, this is the general reading. The romance reading is out there. If you haven't watched it yet, do so and compare it to this reading. This person, uh, you, uh, this person could have the Midas touch, or you could have the Midas touch, Scorpio as the King of Pentacles is Taurus, so you could be meeting a Taurus, but don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn, okay, but the King is really prominently Taurus. You have the Midas touch, so if you're investing in anything, it will turn to gold, it will turn out positively. Then you have the Six of Pentacles. You might be receiving a gift. Uh, if you're less fortunate, you might be receiving a helping hand or a gift of money or anything like that from somebody that is more fortunate than you. This is my give and take, share and share a like a card. Um, if you are, uh, if you you are more fortunate, you might be giving a helping hand or a gift to the less fortunate or a listening ear. On Wednesday you have the Sun, you are in the spotlight. This means that there could be a Leo that is interested in you. And the Sun is rising on a new dawn, a new project. This could be a birth, a birth of a child or a birth of a project that you might be hearing or you might be finding out you're pregnant. Where there is a spotlight there is also something that is illuminated. This could be a question or a situation at hand. Okay, you might be moving home or you might be going on holiday to a warm country. You might take your um, your relationship up to the next level. You might be moving in together, you might be getting engaged or from engaged you might be getting married. That has been coming through quite a bit in the readings. You have the, th the sun again. Wow! So you've got the double meaning. 
you've got two 19s. So 19, 19 is a double number. So something very strong is happening. You don't only have the two moons this month, but you also have the two suns in this week. So it could be turning out that the sun is going to shine on you all month because you've got two moons, two suns, which is very empowering. This is big power. Good things are definitely going to come to you. You are in the spotlight. You might get a promotion, like I said, the next level in relationship or in work. On Friday you have the Princess of the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is Pisces, so you might be meeting a Pisces. Don't forget Cancer or Scorpio. But the Page of Cups is Pisces. Like I said, this is a very uh, 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 watery uh, or cup months, emotional and highly spiritual month. Well, not only because of Halloween, but because you are Scorpio and we are going this month into Scorpio. Okay, there could be a Leo that is interested. So it could be a Virgo, a Leo or a Pisces. And you might be very high, highly emotional. Wow. And you've got the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups means don't cry over spilled milk. Okay? The past is the past. You can't do anything about it. Stand up. Dust yourself off. Take these two cups. You've still got something. Be thankful and grateful for what you have. Learn from the past. Change the present and change the future. The sun is shining on you mid-month. At the weekend you have the Four of Pentacles. Perhaps you've been really busy this week and you feel like you want to isolate yourself and close yourself down for the weekend and have peace and quiet. Well, I'm sorry to inform you, you should always take a break, um, but don't close yourself off, especially if you're crying over spilled milk. If you're feeling sorrow for your, sorry for yourself, um, then Get out of your head. Get out of the house. Go out there and enjoy yourself in nature. Because this is really the best time to invest. Because the time is fertile. And you've got the King of Pentacles here. And you've got the King of Pentacles at the end of the week as well. You have no time to close down and shut yourself off from the outside world enjoy the love that is surrounding you enjoy that you are in the spotlight because now anything that you do will turn to gold you will have long lasting return on your uh, endeavors so open your mind to new ideas and your heart and your solar plex to new love and perhaps to a new relationship what has gone is gone you have the teal angel feather the answer is yes the angels have heard your question and the answer is definitely yes well i would say so too will i get that job will that investment turn out into gold yes you've got the two kings of pen king of pentacles and you've got 22 which is an angel number and it says wisdom this is the card of wisdom, number 22. So 2 and 2 is uh, uh, 4. So something is being built on proper foundations. The wisdom card means wisdom is more than mere knowledge. There may be something you aren't seeing and need to research more thoroughly. Wisdom is gathered but it takes time to learn from your experience. Like I said, leave go and just learn from the past. You might wish to ask the opinion of a wise mentor if 
you are uncertain. Well, a mentor could be the king of pentacles because he does his research before he invests, especially for long term. Okay. And the answer of the angels, wow, this co uh, confirms the five of cups. Let go of the BS and what is of no use to you. You can't hold on. You have to make room for the new that is coming in. Well, Scorpio, that is your reading for this week. Take care. Have a beautiful week. And stay safe and be blessed. Ciao, ciao. Please like and share.